Hi, my name is Bruce Murray. I'm a market development agronomist working for Bayer Crop Science in eastern Manitoba. I'm standing in a field of uh, Extend Beans today in the Carmen region and what I'd like to talk to you about is early weed control in Extend Beans. Soybeans are a very uncompetitive crop and it is essential that you control weeds early to protect your yield potential. Roundup Extend, a premix of Roundup and Extendamax or Dicamba, and Extendamax, the standalone Dicamba product that we sell, are registered from a pre seed application timing all the way up to early flowering. The use pattern I would like to see growers using in Western Canada would be to take advantage of the early applications by applying dicamba early or the extend max or roundup extend early you're getting two to four weeks of residual control and you're protecting that yield potential in your soybean crop other benefits that come along with use of roundup extend or extend max and extend beans include controlling tough to control weeds uh, growers often asking about large um, older uh, wild buckwheat excellent control of, of that wheat at later stages, improved control over things like round, uh, round leaf mallow, uh, dandelion, your thistle species, overwintering broadleaf, things like um, cleavers, uh, night flowering catch fly, those sorts of weeds. Um, another benefit that comes along with the use of this system is this is a tank mix and it is important to be employing tank mixes on your crops and the tank mix essentially is a nice way to delay resistance to both glyphosate or other herbicides. Roundup Extend and Roundup Plus Extendamax are both registered for use from a pre-seed application through to post-seed pre-emerge up to early flowering. The way I would like to see a grower use this product or these products uh, is use them early, okay? The benefit of the dicamba in these mixes is you're looking for a residual control, protecting your, the yield potential in your crop early. And by removing that uh, the weed competition, you're really locking in yield potential and looking at higher yields because of that. Again, you're able to apply this basically prior to emergence. There's something in the cotyledon stage. There's a young plant, cotyledon. And then here we're looking at unifoliates. We look a little further. The first trifoliate and some of these are starting to show up. And really, I would suggest you could probably go as late as two, possibly three trifoliates and still get some benefit with early seed or early um, application and protecting that yield. Get it on as early as possible. Make sure the weeds are coming, make sure the uh, crop is coming and then get that benefit of that residual control. So my call to action here is when you're spraying your soybeans, get out early, have a look, see if the weeds are coming, if the, if the soybeans are coming. And if you see the weeds coming, uh, get on with a, a Roundup Extend or a Roundup Plus and Extend a Max tank mix and control those weeds early. And hopefully with any luck, you're looking at close to a month of residual and you've protected your yield potential.